This is a second instar Phidippus Adambratus sling. I'm going to be showing you how I feed 64 of them. There's one sling per container. Each container will have a rolled up paper towel soaked in water. You got to make sure not to put too much water because they can drown in the smallest droplet. I'm wringing out the excess water here before I drop it in. You want to make sure that there's no droplets at the bottom of the paper towel when you leave it in there. These are Malinogaster fruit flies. There's a couple hundred in here. This fruit culture will last about four weeks before it needs to be replaced. The fruit flies are pretty small. They are flightless, which means they do not have wings. They're pretty fast. Sometimes they'll flip over and have a hard time flipping back right side up. That's the best time to grab them. It can get real messy real quick. You can see I dropped three here. I'm sure a couple of them got away in this whole process. Here is the Phidippus Adambratus sling. Just checking out me and what's going on. They're pretty small. Very curious spiders. You can kind of see their safety line. They'll plant a web every couple of uh, inches they walk. It's a safety line in case they need to pull back or if they're gonna fall. This guy kept looking up at me. It's hard to record them when they don't stand still very long. Pretty difficult to get them back into the container after they've crawled out. It's helpful to keep a small fine point paintbrush on hand. You can kind of sweep them back in or kind of poke them in. You don't want to use anything too rough as it is pretty easy to harm them or even kill them. This is what a complete feeding would look like. The paper towel is moistened and a fruit fly is added. This one's ready to go. They can stay like this for a couple of days before they need to be moistened up again. And if they've eaten, another fruit fly will be added. They are very tiny. Can't, couldn't even feel it crawling on me. Took about two hours to do 60 of these. Started with 64 and four of them were dead. From here I'm gonna put them on the top shelf so they can 
chill and hopefully eat. And then I'll check them again to make sure that the paper towel is still moistened. And if not, we'll go through the whole process again. Here's my shelf of creatures. I'll be showcasing more of these in future videos. Here's the mother of these 60 slings. She has a new clutch that she laid only uh, about a week ago. I'm gonna be documenting the entire process from eggs to sling so subscribe and stay tuned for more thanks for watching <laughs>